fans, and welcome back to Digidom, the series of videos where I take you from zero to digital hero using Adobe Spark. Now in today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make an about me video, me, 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 using Adobe Spark video. As always, if you're using a phone or a tablet, you can download the Spark apps individually, Spark page, Spark post, Spark video, or if you're using a laptop or a desktop, go to spark.adobe.com. Okay, now it's time to go over to the tutorial where I teach you how to make an about me video using Adobe Spark video. So once you've logged into Spark, go to create a project and select video. Give it a title, click next, and I'm gonna start from scratch. Now what I've done is I've prepared my text already. And there it is, I've got all my sections, introduction, hobbies, work or school for you maybe, future and then the ending. So let's get going. I'm gonna get rid of that tutorial and I'm gonna start off with the title and text. And my title is gonna be Digidom and then it's gonna be about me. Okay, maybe I'll change the theme on this one. I normally use this title one, I think today I'm going to use statement because I think that one's cool. Nice. Then I'm going to add a background. It's going to be a photo. I'll find a free photo. And because I'm talking all about me, I'll search for a microphone. There you go. Nice. Next section, we'll get onto our first bit of text here. Hi, my name's Dom or Digidom to my friends. That's the first section we're going to go with here. So let me voice over that right now. Hi, my name's Dom or Digidom to my friends. I'm an educational evangelist at Adobe, which basically means I'm a teacher who shows people how to bring traditional learning to life using digital skills. Nice. Then what I've got to do is I've got to put in my video that I've got. And I've got this one here, my STEM video, which I did at school. So you see this red button here. It means it's aligned to the narration. The video is exactly the same size as the voiceover. Now if I take that off, I can play around with the length of the video just by using these sliders. And I think I'll just take off the first bit there. Nice. Now we're on our video. I can preview it by pressing this play button here. Hi, my name's Dom or Digidom to my friends. Cool. I like how that's gone. And I can also do things like change the sound if I wanted to change it to loud to hear that classroom in the background. But in this one, I'm going to keep it on mute, I think. Now you'll have also heard there's a bit of music on there. And you can change any of that by clicking on one of these. Give it a little play, see if you like it, and then either select it by using the text or go back to the one that you started with. And I think I'll go for this Western Sage. Next thing, I'm gonna put in my next section. And this is about, this is a kind of an intro section about me. I was born in Liverpool in 1981. Okay, so let me put my voiceover in. I was born in Liverpool in 1981 and I lived there until I was 18 years old. Since then, I've worked in quite a few different places like Australia, France, and Spain, but Liverpool will always be home. Cool. I'm gonna put some text in, places I've lived, Australia, France, and Spain. Now, what I can do with this text is I can change it by clicking it, making sure I'm on layout and go into caption. And then it puts it in a slightly different place. It's a slightly smaller as well. I'll go to photo, put, Liverpool in, cool. That's the photo I'm looking for. Now what I think I'll do is just take this text and pop it in the top right there. Cool. Next section is this one, the hobbies section. So I'll take hobbies and then I'll go back to my video. I've gone to the credits. These two sections here, you don't need to worry about. I'm gonna go to my third one, put a new slide in, put my text in. Hobbies, nice. Maybe I'll bring it down slightly because I've got a really cool photo that I want to put in the background. Now, rather than a free photo, I'm going to go to upload photo and it's this one. Cowabunga, looking good. Now, I want to make sure that you can see the photo properly, so I'll pop it over there and then I'll go to my voiceover. The thing I love doing most of all is anything in the sea. I love swimming, surfing, and generally just being in or around the water. Now you can change it up to a caption if you want, if you want to keep everything the same. And there you go, it changes it to the red one, just like it is on slide number three here. Okay, cool. Next section, we've got another hobbies thing as well. 
Cool. So what I'll do is I'll find the photo that I'm looking for, which is in my folder here, and it is this one. And it's a photo of me, my dad, and my nephew. So what I'm going to do is go to the zoom in tool here, bring this down, so you can see me, my dad, and my nephew, three generations. Look at that. I don't think I'll put a caption on that one because I don't think it needs it. Next section, we're down here at work and school. So I'm looking for my ghost story photo. I think I'll put a caption on which just says work. Okay, so let's start off with text. Work. Oh, I've got my caps on. There you go. Change it to a caption. Now I'm going to put in my photo. I've got one to upload here. And it's, uh, where is it? Ghost story. It's one of my favorite tutorials. I love this one. Check it out. And then I'll grab my text. And now it's time to record my voiceover. At work, I'm really enjoying making my Digidon videos at the moment as they give me a way to be creative and also help other people like you to express themselves creatively. Now I can preview my voiceover just to check that I didn't cut myself off at the start. And I did. So what I'm going to do is record that again and it'll just go straight over the top. At work, I'm really enjoying making my Digidon videos at the moment as they give me a way to be creative and also help other people like you express themselves creatively. Nice. So that's all good. Next slide. Future. Okay. So I'm looking for a free photo here and I'm talking about opening a creative media school. So what I'll do is I'll go in here, go to photo, type in creative. Ooh, spell it right. There we go. That one looks pretty good. Everybody making digital media. Or you could use this one. Everyone generating ideas. Yeah, maybe I'll use that one. Okay, put in my text and it's going to be future. Change it to a caption. Maybe I'll keep most of them captions, I think. Grab it and then move it to the top left and then record my voiceover. I think one day I'd like to open a creative media school where talented young people like you guys can take their skills to the next level. Nice. Preview it. Right, I'm happy with that. Could have listened to it all the way through, but you can do that yourselves at home. And then the last one is the ending. Thanks very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll go back to mine. And what I'll do this time is add it as a split screen, I think. I'll put my text on this side. Uh, maybe I'll put in a little smiley face. Nice. And then on this side, because I'm saying thank you very much, I'll search for an icon. And which one should I choose? Maybe, maybe this one here. Nice, I like that. So I've already selected the theme I want. Don't forget, if you want to change it, you can. You can also change the colors. Maybe I'll change it to green. I like green, it's one of my favorite colors. I've selected the music I wanted. I want what wanted Western Sage. You can choose any of them you like just by selecting on the text. And all we've got to do now is, first of all, we've got to we don't have to, but we can download it. It downloads just at the bottom of my machine here. And the next thing we can do is share it. Hi, my name's Dom or Digidom to my friends. I'm an educational evangelist at Adobe, which basically means I'm a teacher who shows people how to bring traditional learning to life using digital skills. I was born in Liverpool in 1981 and I lived there until I was 18 years old. Since then, I've worked in quite a few different places like Australia, France and Spain, but Liverpool will always be home. The thing I love doing most of all is anything in the sea. I love swimming, surfing and generally just being in or around the water. My dad and I have done some long distance swims together and I go to see my mum regularly and often swim or paddle in the sea right by our house with my nephews. At work, I'm really enjoying making my Digidon videos at the moment as they give me a way to be creative and also help other people like you express themselves creatively. I think one day I'd like to open a creative media school where talented young people like you guys can take their skills to the next level. I hope you enjoyed that Digi fans and I'm looking forward to hearing all about you because this channel is all me, 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 nothing but talk from me and I want to know about you, what you're up to and what you're into. So share them with me using the hashtag 
Digidom or by finding me on the socials, Dom underscore trainer. And also I'll be able to find out whether you've subscribed or not. Well, actually I can't, but you subscribe anyway, because you just should. All right, that's it from me. And where am I going to see you next? That's right, on the next Digidom video. <laughs>